Hi everyone, it's Martha. Um, I'm 13 weeks and 4 days today. I just got back in Long Beach, California yesterday, so it's nice to be home. Um, symptoms that I've been having, um, I've been really like exhausted. I haven't been feeling like tired really, just more like not enough energy. And the past like few days I've been getting like um, acid reflux or heartburn I guess you'd say. Like where I have like the acid in my throat but it doesn't really like come up too much but I can feel it and it's pretty gross. Um, food cravings, um, I haven't really been interested in any um, sweets or like cakes or something. Uh, it just doesn't sound good to me anymore. And then garlic, I can't stand garlic. It's just gross and I never want to eat it on anything. And before, like, I liked garlic a lot. Like, I would, don't mind it before. Um, I've been having also, like, some cramping, like, in my uterus, I guess you would say. And and then also, like, tight tightening. Maybe that's because it's stretching and everything. And sometimes, like, if I get up too fast from the... Um, like from laying down or something kind of feels like it gets all stretched out and like I pulled a muscle or something I think that's normal but um I hope <laughs> and also I'm very emotional now <laughs> um the other day I was watching Elf and I cried <laughs> and I never like used to ever cry in movies so it's kind of weird like I would never cry like in dramas or anything and now I'm crying in a Christmas movie um my weight gain is like two pounds in like the past few weeks I finally gained some weight um, and I think I've gained like two inches about not quite sure um, and since I've been back yesterday I um, went to the doctors and I got to listen to the heartbeat for the first time so that was really nice it was like a really um, loud like swooshing sound I thought it would sound a little bit different than what it did. Um, the beats per minute was 155 and um, the doctor like measured my uterus but she didn't tell me what it was so I'm guessing it was normal or if it wasn't maybe she would say something. Um, and then also today I just had another ultrasound which was nice and the baby was seven centimeters from the head to the but I guess I think that's what the measurement is, and it was so cute to um, finally like see the actual baby, like with the head and the arms and everything, and um, the um, what would you call it? the ultrasound tech was trying to get the baby to move because it was just staying in one position and she had to measure the um, spine, and so she was kind of like shaking the, my belly and everything, but the baby wouldn't move at all. So that was kind of sweet to see. Like it already has like a um, what would you say? <laughs> a nice personality. Um, I um, actually got into a, a fetal growth study. They asked me if I wanted to be a part of, and it's actually like really nice, I guess. They just um, monitor the growth of my baby, and I get like five free ultrasounds throughout it, and like some blood testing, but I don't really mind doing blood work. It doesn't bother me. And for the ultrasounds, I get like free 3D, 4D. So that's going to be nice. Um, and nice to help out the study. It doesn't bother me at all with that. And I guess I'll show you the ultrasound pictures. You can't really tell because they're a little bit blurry. But there it is. That's the little head. And I think that's the arm right there. But I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's the spine. No, it's probably the spine. And then that's the belly right there. And then this one, that's the little belly and the head, and then that's the arm right there sticking up. It was moving its arms a lot, and then it would like kind of twitch and like shake its whole body. And John thought that was really sweet. <sighs> I almost cried because I was just so happy to see it, and actually makes it um, feel a lot more real because you can actually see the baby moving now, and it actually looks more like a baby. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I have an appointment um, the 18th, which is next Wednesday, I think, and that's to start the study. I think I actually get another ultrasound then, um, so they can measure the baby and everything, make sure it's on track. On track. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think that's what they're gonna do, and then also ask me questions like um, about my history and then John's history to make sure that I don't know it doesn't contribute to the to the growth of the baby, something like that. 
And then I have another appointment, um, December, what is it, 9th, and that's to get more blood work done for the Down syndrome to make sure that it's, um, the results are the same. And actually I forgot to say, but I got the blood results back and it was negative for Down syndrome and then I forgot what the other one was, neural tube def efficiency I want to say something like that neural something and so that was really good to hear so I'll get another like confirmation December wait I probably want to get the same day so maybe a couple weeks after that um, yeah so that's everything that's happening I will show my belly and that will be it <laughs> um, so there it is I actually have like a bump now when I got back everyone could tell they're like wow you grew I did and, um, yeah, that's about it. So I will update later. Bye.